Good morning. We continue our journey through the Amida. Uh, we're focusing on the 13 intermediary blessings, petitionary blessings, where we come together to ask for different things for the community and sometimes for ourselves too. Yesterday we reflected on the fifth petitionary blessing for refuah, for healing. Today we turn to the sixth, a blessing for abundance and prosperity. It goes like this. It's on page 86 of Mishkan Tefila. Barech aleinu Adonai Eloheinu et ha-shana hazot v'et kol minei tuvu v'ata l'tova v'ten bracha al-pnei ha-adama v'sabeinu mituvecha v'arech shnatenu k'shanim ha-tovot baruch ha-ta Adonai m'varech ha-shanim Bless us, Eternal One, this year and grant all kinds of produce for good and give us blessing on the face of the land. Satisfy us with your goodness and bless our year as a good one. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses the years. This blessing with its focus on uh, the season, on rain, on abundance from the fields uh, comes from a time when most of us were farmers. That's no longer true, but I think it makes the blessing even more important. It's too easy for us who pick up our food in the supermarket to forget where it really comes from, to fail to be mindful of the source of abundance. So as you reflect on this prayer in a moment, consider what are the blessings that feel abundant in your life? And reflect on where they really come from and all that had to happen for you to enjoy those blessings. Think about your food, how it took the right weather and the labor of so many who prepared the way. Think about other blessings in your life and where they came from too. And don't just stop with yourselves. Rabbi Daniel Landis in my People's Prayer Book notes, this is traditionally understood as a prayer for parnasa, for livelihood, and it obligates us to provide for others, to help them provide for themselves. Quoting Maimonides, he notes that we help others to find employment. It's incumbent upon us to arrange funding for others, to help them establish businesses, to provide them with loans or gifts, and to welcome them into partnerships in our own enterprises. This is the highest form of tzedakah, of righteousness. To be mindful of the abundance that we enjoy in our lives and to share it with others. So reflect on your abundance, on where it comes from, how you can be grateful for it, and how you can share it. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Kadosh 
couple of announcements. I encourage you to join us uh, tomorrow night and Saturday morning as we celebrate our Shabbat. Uh, tomorrow morning will be my last meditation for a little over a week. I'll be taking off next week. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Uh, see your e-blast for other cavi offerings. I'm going to end with a poem by Mary Oliver. It's called On Meditating, Sort of. Meditation, so I've heard, is best accomplished if you entertain a certain strict posture. Frankly, I prefer to just lounge under a tree. So why should I think I could ever be successful? Some days I fall asleep or land in that even better place, half asleep, where the world, spring, summer, autumn, winter, flies through my mind in its hearty ascent and its uncompromising descent. So I just lie like that, while distance and time reveal their true attitudes. They never heard of me and never will or ever need to. Of course, I wake up finally thinking how wonderful to be who I am, made out of earth and water, my own thoughts, my own fingerprints, all that glorious temporary stuff.